I'm Linda Shedd. I graduated from Maryville College in 1968. At that time, Maryville was a women's college. I'm Sylvia Shedd, and I graduated from Maryville in 1973. And during my sophomore year, Maryville became a co-ed school. One of my experiences as a student here was the fact that I came here as one of five black women who were like the second set of African-American students. As far as I can recall, there had only been one student who had gone to Rosati Kane High School and graduated three years prior to me coming here. So there were, we were a group of five, and as far as I know, we were the second set of African-American students here at Maryville. I came here in 1969, and it was during the Civil Rights Movement, and Maryville was an all-girls school my first year, and the second year they decided to become co-ed with the male students as co-ops. Um, our presence on the campus, it was a predominantly white school. The thing that led us into uh, forming the African American Students Organization was that it was during the Civil Rights Movement and we had some nuns here who were very active and interested in the Civil Rights Movement. So they took us on, as nuns do, as their children, and they helped us to begin the organization. And we recruited guest speakers and so forth from the black community. The diversity that I see here on campus today, uh, it does reflect society in general. We have lots of young students, women and men, who are looking to find themselves in the world. And so uh, the fact that they want, that they sought out Maryville University as a place to get their education, I think that's a plus for Maryville. And it shows you how Maryville has, has really moved ahead during the last 50 years even.